In this chapter, you will learn about using dates with Python Pandas. Pandas was developed to analyze financial data that often come as time series and has powerful functionality to make your life easier. The key to this are data types tailored to managing date and time information. These data types represent either points in time or periods of time. They have attributes and methods that allow you to access and manipulate the time dimension of your data. Any column can contain date or time information, but it is most important as a data frame index because this converts the entire data frame into a time series. You will also learn to use many data frame methods that leverage date information stored in the index. Let's first take a look at these data types. Using the Pandas library and Python's built-in daytime class, you can create a Pandas timestamp. You can also use a date string instead of a daytime object. Both produce the same result. If you display the timestamp, you'll notice that the time has been automatically set to midnight. The Pandas timestamp has attributes, so you can access various time aspects of your data. You can, for instance, retrieve the year or the name of the weekday. Pandas also has a data type for time periods. The period object always has a frequency with month as the default. It also has a method to convert between frequencies, for instance, from monthly to daily frequency. You can convert a period to a timestamp object and a timestamp object back to a period object. You can also do basic date arithmetic. Starting with the period object for January 2017 at monthly frequency, just add the number 2 to get a monthly period for March 2017. Timestamps can also have frequency information. If you create the timestamp for January 31st, 2017 with monthly frequency and add 1, you get a timestamp for February 28th. To create a time series, you need a sequence of dates. To create a sequence of timestamps, use the pandas function date range. You need to specify a start date and either an end date or a number of periods. The default is daily frequency. The function returns a sequence of dates as a daytime index with frequency information. You will recognize the first element as a pandas timestamp. You can convert the index to a period index, just like you could timestamps to period objects. Now you can create a time series by setting the daytime index as the index of your data frame. Data frame columns containing dates will be assigned the daytime 64 data type, where NS means nanoseconds. Let's create 12 rows with two columns of random data to match the daytime index. Provide the dates to the data frame constructor, and you have created your first time series with 12 monthly timestamps. Pandas allows you to create and convert between many different frequencies. Here are the most important ones. Some may also be set to the beginning or end of the period, or use business instead of calendar periods. There are also numerous timestamp attributes. Let's now practice your new time series skills. 